Honorable Member Cindy Albert. Speaker, it's funny in this job how you end up meeting people and the impact they have on you. Les Landry is one of those connections and he continues to teach me the importance of service dogs. Years ago, Mr. Landry had minor surgery which resulted in life-changing complications, leaving him with extreme sustained elevated blood pressure, three strokes, and the development of epilepsy. His journey to get better made him learn about service dogs and how they are used to help lower blood pressure and detect seizures. Miss Annie, the puppy as she is lovingly called, first met Les when she was three months old and they began their journey of learning and training. Within two months, Annie, while she was still in training, helped lower his blood pressure and detect her first seizure. Mr. Landry is also a survivor of PTSD. That combined with epilepsy and effects of stroke, he's one of the thousands of Albertans living with invisible disabilities who undergo a daily struggle to manage housing, transportation, and employment. Annie, a service dog, is not from an ADI accredited kennel as specified in the Service Dog Act of Alberta, yet Annie makes life manageable. Mr. Landry knows he would not be alive without her and certainly reminds me of that every single time I communicate with him. People who need dogs like Annie often wait for many, many years without uh, waiting for a life-saving dog. Mr. Landry is the founder and president of Respect the Service Dog. This organization raises awareness, the value of service dogs, and the integral role they play in the lives of people with disabilities, particularly those with disabilities we cannot see. There are only about 80 to 100 accredited service dogs in Alberta, but the demand is so much higher. Mr. Landry encourages all of us to advocate for people with disabilities who could live a better life with service dogs. So I'm hoping one day access will be similar to access like other life-saving equipment such as wheelchairs. I look forward to working with my colleagues to address this important issue. Thank you.